Dylan, you know, just just first of all, you know, how is preparation going? How is training going at the moment? Are you enjoying life as as we speak? Of course, I love life. I'm blessed with the life I live. Um, I get to do what I love every day of the week. Um, with my brothers, all my best friends. Like, uh, I I don't think everyone realizes realizes how high high our level is and how close we all are. We're we're really like we are all a family. Like we take the piss out of each other, like brothers. Um, and we look after each other, like brothers as well. So it's just oh, let me just fix myself. Yeah, so uh, it's great. The environment is great, James. Um, captain of the ship up there in higher level. It's just life is perfect. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't be in a better spot to be honest. Uh, but just you know, looking at, uh, ahead to the fight, what are your thoughts on on Jakub Kashuba? I mean, you had that face to face, didn't you, in in Berlin? Uh, what do you make of him? Uh, just a little jobby, same as everyone else. Uh, he's very stiff. He looks slow. He's clearly on steroids. You know what I mean? Or has been on steroids before in his life. His big estrogen bitch tits. Um, I don't rate him much. He's another can squasher, and now he's gonna come out and fight a real fighter. And, it's going to be a big shock for him. You know, he's uh, he's got, obviously, the, the 9-0 record, but as you proved against Conor Hughes, records don't really mean much unless you've been tested. And records up by records up by DJs, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you feel like you are you can be a bit underestimated because of your record? Yeah, like, and I think the, the funny thing about my record is, like, two of the losses on my record shouldn't really count. Uh, the Sadiq one, early stoppage, and my last one should have been disqualification. Because I got soccer kicked it way in the first five seconds, like so. My record really should be eight and eight and one, maybe eight and two, if you want to give Sadiq the loss. So people want to look at my record and think whatever. Everyone who's trained with me and everyone who knows me knows how good I am. You know what I mean? Like to the to the standard that I am, I'm world world class. So I, I couldn't care if people underestimate me. The minute I start moving in front of you, I think everyone realizes how good I am. Then it was the same with Connor. I said it to him in there. I literally, I think I made a Mrs. Force four punch combination or something. And I laughed and smiled at him. I go, oh, you didn't think I was this good, didn't you know? And he goes, no, I knew you were good. And I just said back to him, I go, yeah, but not this good. And that was, that's what I think with most people. But once they're in there and they feel me, they, they soon regret it. I can, I can see it in their face. You know what I mean? Especially when I'm moving, I know I'm on point. And of course, I've had spells and fights where I went in. I don't even think I went in with like game plans. I just didn't go in with good coaching. So now I've, with James kind of playing me as a game boy, I kind of feel, I definitely feel unstoppable. I feel in a perfect place. You know, when you two were faced off inside the, the cage in Berlin, he tried to go with the verbals against you. I think that's a terrible idea, isn't it? What an idiot. And then he tried to make, like he tried to make it out then. Everyone was making it out like, I was being the bad guy. I was like, he, he came straight in and slayed me. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and then I wouldn't even mind. It's like, oh, I've done it in one round. I'm like, you don't have one round with a bloke who's had one fight in six years. It's like, and you got to, he didn't really look mad dominant in that. You know what I mean? I'm just like, he's not impressive. He doesn't impress me at all. He's stiff, slow, and he's a juice head. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to putting some work on him. Like, you know what I mean? I can't wait. He looks like he hasn't been hit before. Like, I can't wait to hit him. Like, I can't wait to, like, because there's going to be a big speed discrepancy. There's no doubt about it. Like, I'm going to be the much faster fighter. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing that, to be honest. Um, just so far on your experience um, of PFL Europe, how much have you enjoyed it? Because you obviously you got to do the sit-down interview, the face-to-face, -face, which was really, really cool. Uh, there's a lot of media hype, the post and pre-fight press conferences and things like that. You're fighting on the zone. What have you made so far you know, of PFL Europe, That your experience with the organisation? Well, what they thought was going to happen didn't happen. And now they're like, oh, you're the golden boy now. We love you. You know what I mean? We'll post about you want you to do all of these interviews for us. But when they were bringing me in, they were bringing me into Lewis. They wanted Connor and, and Cuba here in the semi final, two 9 and all versus uh, 9 and all versus 8 and all. That's what they wanted. England versus Ireland in the final possibility. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not stupid. And now that they went, oh, we're, we're on a bit of a gold mine here, they're jumping all over it. But I'm just staying level headed. I don't care about any of it. I don't, I'm so happy and grateful to be on PFL. I'd be more grateful and happy when I get to renegotiate the contract after this. And, get paid some big, big money. Like, so, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just staying focused. I'm not just thinking about a world title. I just want that world title at the end of this. I can give that world title championship then to James. I can lay out his feet. I can bow to him and I can go, It's war this was worth putting up with me because I'm, I'm a bit of an annoying cunt. <laughs> You know, the last time we spoke, I remember you talking to me about, you know, surviving on a tenor and things like that. I know there's obviously a hundred grand up for, for grabs, but I, I presume that a man like you, we wouldn't change... Yeah, would it? You would remain the same, keep training, right? What? 
I put you on a hundred grand. My boys have been looking at me head over a shoulder. Bro, like, well, we don't want money because I know I'll change. I think I'm better than everyone now. So if we had loads of money, I'd just be like, you'd have to talk to someone to talk to me. Like, I'd be like, you can't speak to me. I'm too godly. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd like to think that it wouldn't change me. But the reality is money changes the best of us. Um, so I just kind of not, I don't think about it. You know what I mean? I, I have enough to get away all the time. If I win the uh, when I get when I win the hundred thousand, if I won the million, I, I think the best thing for me to be there was just to sign someone over to be in charge of me money because I'll just blow it. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I I, ho I hope it wouldn't change me, but we'll never know. Maybe it will. <laughs> I'll get the money. <laughs> um, hey. I've, I've she's said... like she's she's agreeing with me. She's like, would you? she's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, she's brilliant. Um. Do you think, um, you know, I've, I've heard you talk about, uh, you know, your world title ambitions and things like that. Looking at the the lightweights around the world at the moment, where where would you rank yourself? Is there any man you fear at the moment? Uh, Mark Young, Stevie Ray, <laughs> I'd fear them too. Me two boys, that's about it. Miranda Pereira, I fear him. Kunle Lawal, all me boys I'm, I'm afraid of. I'm, I'm delighted I'm in the same gym as them and I'm not whooping the ass and I'm not... Um, but no, I don't fear any lightweights. But I think people forget this. So I'm not a lightweight. I'm a featherweight. I've, I've, this is my first ever fight at lightweight. That was, this is going to be my second fight at lightweight. I only moved up because they didn't have a featherweight bracket. I didn't move up because I couldn't make the weight. I moved up because I couldn't get fights. So they, all these lightweights are getting smoked by a featherweight. They should be embarrassed by themselves. Like, you know what I mean? When I'm at the coming up into their division, and I'm, the mo I'm, the, I'm definitely the favourite of the whole group now. And I'd smoke every single one of them. I know each and every one of them are looking at it going, I don't know if we didn't. You know what I mean? I know Chiz off and Mitchell are praying that Cuba pulls something out of his hole. Like, you know what I mean? But it's not going to happen. I'm going to be there in Dublin. I'm going to be in my city in D1. I'm going to be the main event of PFL Dublin because what you're not going to put an English person on the main event. Dakota ain't got a hope there because Irish in English, it ain't happening. You're not going to put a Frenchie there because they just won't sell. If, if there isn't someone Irish on the end fight, everyone will leave and go to the pool bed. You know what I mean? So, if D1 is my city, my flats are like, like two minutes around the corner from the arena. Like two minutes around the corner, my flats are. It's my show. This is all just, this is all like, I hate Destiny and I hate all this. Uh, I, I, like, I hate the whole secret of love thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like the secret, like as in uh, the law of attraction. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in any of that. I believe what you work for what you get, but, when all this has came to fruition and all this has happened the way it has, it's kind of turning me into a believer. I'm like, there has to be something out there in the cosmic universe making all this happen because it's just, it's still perfect to be true. Like, you know what I mean? So I have to be in Dublin on the main event. It would be like sacrilegious not to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think everyone knows that as well. But I just, that's all I'm thinking about. Main event in front of my family and I, in front of me two sisters and winning my fourth world title. That I should have won six years ago. We should already be a double world champ. You know what I mean? So I'm making up for lost time. But if anything is perfect, it's like, like I, I always rant and rave about James, but I couldn't have wished to win it with someone like with James. I'm so happy that it is going to be with James. Yeah, it's all perfect. Like. <laughs> uh, I, I can imagine that, you know, over in Dublin, half of the arena could be <laughs> all of your friends and family, right? You must have a lot of, a lot of people that back there who can't wait to see you in action. I'm a, I have a huge following in Dublin. I'm very popular. Um, I'm mostly popular because I don't try to act like Connor. You know what I mean? I'm my own person. And a lot of the Irish guys are all wannabes. They, like, I, I'm still friends with most of them, but they all, they all are wannabes. They say what Connor says last week. They wear what Connor wore two months ago. They do what Connor does. Like, you know what I mean? Which isn't a bad thing. He's the greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? But a bit of originality goes a long way. Oh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I, I fought in front of the tree arena before. I was the biggest, got the biggest salvation there when I was fighting there when I was 20, 21, 19. Um, so, yeah, it's it's going to be nice. It'll be nice, especially the main event, account, to, help, to be the headline of the show and the posters and stuff. That'll be big for me. That'll be, that'll be a dream come true for a, a wee little boy from the flat. Like. And it could be an all-Irish all event, couldn't it, with Mitchell get through? Do you think he will? Uh, I hope he doesn't. I want to bat that chiz off in the final. I think he's a much, he's a much bigger name. Uh, he's got great recognition. He has a great record. Uh, I like the whole pretty boy thing. I think he has a bit of swagger about him and stuff like that. Uh, and I think it would just, 
it'll be a whole arena against him rather than half an arena. Well, no, it wouldn't even be half an arena for John. John's not popular in Ireland. It'd be like, he's not, he's not. I'm not being bad to him. He's not, like, he's popular in Cork. Like, and that I mean with, like, his cousins and all. Like, he's not popular in Ireland. Like, he's not a big draw. He's never fought in a big arena. I'm not being bad. These are just facts. I'm popular in Ireland. You know what I mean? Maybe it's because of the club I trained at before. Maybe it isn't. I think it's just because I'm fucking funny. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, if it's me versus John, it's going to be more of a... But at least then, if it's me versus Chizop, it's a whole arena against him. And Chizop's an easier fight than John as well. But it's still smoke John, like, you know what I mean? 